joined by Northwestern State men's head basketball coach Mike McConfee. Coach, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. I'm glad to be with you. You guys were one of the last games that we saw take place in the 2019-2020 season. So looking towards this next season, it's been a long nine months. What are you and your team most excited about finally taking the court again? Well, I just think that trying to finish where we had kind of left off because I felt like that we had gained a lot of momentum um, during last year's run and uh, felt really good about where we were going into the tournament and then able to win our first game. And it just kind of came to a screeching halt like the rest of the world. But uh, at the same time, it was, a, it was a good run for us. It was much needed for our program. And we're excited about building on that. Talking about that run, you guys won seven of your last 10 games. Had a lot of newcomers, new faces coming into the program last year, but it seemed like they really started to gel. How are you going to use that to build upon that for this season? Well, I think, you know, the confidence, and I know that like in practice right now, we have a lot of faces that are familiar with one another now. And I think that's helped tremendously because offensively the ball is moving and we do have some guys that can score the basketball, um, but they they know how to play together. And I think that that was one of the biggest struggles we had up until the last 10 games of the year of just trying to find out uh, which button to par push and who was going to be the, the biggest producers. And those guys that were going to do the other little things that really don't show up in the stat sheet. So I feel like that we've made a lot of progress in that area. You guys return 11 letter winners from last season. As you said, you lost a couple of starters, but a lot of faces who have played together. Who are a couple individuals who have really stepped up and been leaders this, this upcoming season? Jairus Roberson is really uh, uh, exciting to watch, and he's – He's very vocal in practice, Trenton Master, and then Jamari Gregg, uh, those young men, as well as C.J. Jones, who if you look at the stat sheet, you're really not seeing uh, the numbers you're looking for. But I felt like he had as much to do with our run, especially in the last five games, because he really knew where we wanted the ball and he got the ball where it needed to be. And he's kind of picked up after an early uh, preseason injury. He's kind of picked up where he left off. Another name that we didn't see on the court so much last year, LaTerrence Reed. I know he was out with an injury, but he had made an impact on the team a couple of years prior. How has he stepped up for this upcoming season? Uh, he's done some really nice things. I think the year away from the game and having the knee surgery, uh, I think it helped him. I think that defensively he's done a lot better. The key to, to uh, LT's game is he's a catch-and-shoot guy. And when he does that, he's pretty effective. But as his first year here, he was 7 for 11 from the three-point line in one game. And we need him to just be a catch-and-shoot guy and, and finish and do the things that he does well. And when he does that, he'll be a big imp impact for us in our, in our games this year. Last year, it seemed like, especially towards the end of the year, your guys' identity was be very, very aggressive on defense, pass the ball around until you have that open shot. Will that be your identity again this season, or are you looking for a different identity? I think that that would be primarily it. We want to be able to attack the bucket and get the best shot we can as quick as possible, uncontested shot. But defensively, we really got to do a much better job. One of the things that we did extremely well, I thought, last year was rebound the basketball. And we've got that's an area that I do have a lot of concern for this year. Um, Two of our players that we lost were pretty good rebounders, but freshmen, um, you know, coming in, Kendall uh, Coleman, I went blank there for just a second. Kendall Coleman's a guy that can rebound and block shots, and we're hopeful along with uh, Dalen Williams, uh, a junior, uh, could give us some, some outstanding rebound along with Robert Ugas, the twin brother uh, that didn't play much last year, 6'8". Uh, player that could give us some rebounding. That's that's one of my biggest concerns would be rebounding. For your team in preparation for the upcoming season, it's been weird probably preparing during a pandemic. What are some obstacles or challenges that you've had to face just in terms of preparation? Well, we've actually been pretty good as far as the quarantine situation at this point. We've, we've gone some periods where we've had three or four out and they've had to go home and this, that, and other. And uh, that's, that's the obstacle that so many of our teams have faced. Um, one of our coaches was sick and was out for two weeks, Coach Moore. Uh, so having not all the pieces there at the same time, getting down to nine players at one point, 
uh, a little bit of a challenge, and hopefully we've gotten that past us and we won't have that happen to us again. But I just think the biggest thing is the consistency of who's there and every day having a men mentality of coming and more like a lunch pail type attitude of I got to bring my lunch pail and go to work every day. And uh, doing that really kind of what is what we need to be about. That's the kind of team that we'll need to be to be successful.